In this video, I'll go over how to share sound and video using Zoom. Since Zoom doesn't let me show the audio and video controls while I'm live on Zoom, I've created a document that I'm just going to walk through with you. So here are the step-by-step -step instructions. First off, verify that you're logged out of all web conference software. So that means anything that isn't Zoom, Google Meet, Microsoft Teams, GoToMeeting, any of those. Make sure that you've done that prior to logging on to your webinar or meeting. Failure to log out of those while you're on Zoom will create video or audio issues. Next, if your presentation has sound or if you're playing video, make sure to check mark these settings. Here's option number one. So in option number one, the first thing that you do is you press screen share, which is at the bottom of your Zoom video. You're going to have a black box where you see yourself and the other participants, and there's usually a green screen share right there. And once you're here, you're going to click on basic. It should open to that by default. And then you select whichever window has your video. If you have the video on your computer, what I recommend is before you even share, make sure that it's open in whichever player that you have. In my case, I use a Mac, so it's QuickTime Player. If you're on Windows, it might be Windows Media Player or any player that you typically use. That's usually the easiest way to prompt a video. Sometimes we share YouTube videos. You can also share your browser that has a YouTube. However, you won't always get the best quality if you don't have the file. So if you have the file, do it the way that I'm showing you. So once you've selected this window that has the video, make sure that you have share computer sound and optimize screen share of a video clip selected. So check mark those and then hit share. And from there, you'll be able to press play on your video. And when you're complete, stop sharing your screen. That's option number one. Option number two is very similar. The difference is you don't already need to have it open on any software on your computer. What you need to do is just make sure you know how to find that particular file in your finder. So for option number two, you do the same thing, click screen share, and then make sure that advanced tab is selected. Click on video, share sound and optimize for clip, just like you did before, and then press share. From here, what's gonna happen is you'll see the video pop up on your screen and it's automatically going to use whichever video player software you have on your computer. From there, you just press play button on whatever software showed up and that's how you show your video. It'll automatically fill everybody's screen and they'll be able to hear the sound as long as you set up these particular checked mark settings. So that's how you share video. Now let's talk about audio. If you want to share audio only and no video and no screen sharing, what you would do is click on screen share, then advanced, click on computer audio, and then press share. You don't need to select any other settings. At the very top of your screen in green, it'll say you are sharing computer audio. So what that means is that all audio that happens on your computer any button clicks, any beeps because you pressed the wrong thing, or a song that you might play will share the audio of it. So just be mindful of that. If you're playing background music in your Zoom, that's great. Just make sure that you're playing that. But anything else as well that you end up playing that has sound, maybe an ad pops up on one of your browser tabs, that's, it's going to hear that too. So just be mindful about what else is open when you use this setting. So those are the three different ways that you can share uh, audio or video while you're on a Zoom webinar or call. Hope you enjoyed this and it was useful. Leave me a comment down below, like this video and share with friends if or your colleagues if needed. And if you want to get practical advice for technology just like this, also hit that subscribe button. Thank you.